Brandy Gonzalez. And sir, do you have an affiliation with the Spark County Democratic Party? I do not. Okay. Do you have an office with the party? I do not. Did you? Yes, I do. Uh, so about a year ago, I served as the Spark County Democratic Party chair. And, and for how many years were you that? Five or six? And during the course of, of that time, did you have the opportunity to work with uh, Mr. Burnham on many occasions? Did you form an opinion as to his integrity? I would never question his integrity. Do you have uh, any doubt that he's an honest man? No doubt at all. Do you have any doubt that if he says he is disaffiliated with the Democratic Party, that he means it in good faith? I believe he means it. Do you believe he means it in good faith? Yes. Mr. Gonzalez, you've been here and, and heard references by Mr. Hurley and the quotes. He's a died in the war Democrat. Yes, sir. Did you know him as a died in the war Democrat? Yes, sir. And do you think that his conduct in trying to disaffiliate from the party and run at the last minute as an independent is consistent with your knowledge of Mr. Um, Burnaby as they died in the war of Democrat? It is not. Tell us why it's not consistent. Um, Mr. Burnaby is one of the most thorough people I know. Uh, I think he's known, said over and over, the devil's in the details. He's very thorough in everything he ever has done that I've ever known with him. And I don't believe this process has been nearly as thorough as I've come in. So how do you square those two, Mr. Gonzalez? You've known this for how many years now? Probably 30. You've known him for 30 years. You just described him as a knowing he was a guy who worked at a and his thoroughness. How do you square that? With at the eleventh hour, literally, him running around all of a sudden friends when I forgot how he made reference to it. He didn't even have enough time to put letters from the US Postal Service to, to resign from certain offices or certain clubs. How do you square that with your knowledge of Mr. Bernie for over 30 years? How would someone who says the devil is in the details? How would someone be running around like a chicken with his head off in the last minutes before the deadline? I would say that I believe that most of it was date driven. It was up against some time frames. Well, Mr. Burnaby has, has known both um, Mr. Perez and Mayor Healy for a number of years. Yes. If you were dissatisfied with their abilities, their character, their personalities, their performance, that's something that would have been made and known apparent to him prior to the day before the election deadline, correct? Yes. So then how do you square with a guy whose attention it always says the devil is in the details? How do you square that with at the last minute? attempting to disassociate and running around trying to cut all the ties and make, make himself clearly disassociate. I believe that from what I've read and from the transcripts and from what Mr. Burnaby has said, a lot of this was driven by an article in the Camp Repository, which is an endorsement editorial which came up here today earlier, and also that he listened to the debate in the Ron Ponder show, and was totally dissatisfied with both of those candidates, which stemmed his wanting to step in. Um, again, those dates all came after the fact. The time to step in would have been very different. I understand what you just recited, what they've represented both in the media on numerous occasions, both in uh, video interviews and, and written interviews and in their briefs. But that's the reason I asked you about 
Mr. Germany's knowledge and experience with, with both Mr. Perez and the mayor. He's known them for years and worked with them. Then how all of a sudden does he have an epiphany after uh, listening apparently on the radio to a, to a debate and or a, a newspaper non-endorsement? How does that square with, how do you have an epiphany of, as to something that you already know? An epiphany is about something that you never knew before. How does that square with your understanding and experience with Mr. Burnley? I can't speak to what Tom Burnley was thinking about how it was in his mind. Um, as I said, I think that he did it and has done it. He's went through this whole process thinking that he's done it correctly. Do I agree with that? I do not. But that doesn't mean that I've said this over and over, and I think that everybody in this room, and there's a lot of us that are all friends in this room have tried to remove the personalities out of this issue. This is a legal issue that we're looking at, and, and I never question Tom Burnaby's integrity, or is he trying to do something under the table? I would never question him. You just said, do I agree with that? I do not. What do you mean by that? I don't agree with the process that he's trying to run as well. I do not. I believe we have Democratic primaries. We have Republican primaries. It is the law of the land. I'm a big believer, you know, like the laws, you can have them changed, as I have many of them. Um, but unfortunately, the law is the law. And like I said, when I was sitting there describing personalities, we're describing the process and the law. I, mean, I think we've gone, and a lot of people are listening to way more than they needed to hear it. Mm -hmm. Has Mr. Burby ever suggested to you that the laws Rules of political elections are <coughs> and who wants to change them? Objection beyond the scope. Sustainable. Mr. Gonzalez, how old man are you? 60. You know, I love that. Thanks. Objection. I feel very. Have you, in the course of your six years, ever been called upon to make a decision that turned you that much into you? Yes. Is it your experience with the people who face with decisions that are really fun about it, that they sometimes yeah. get thrown yeah. out the room to the last minute? Yes. Has it been your experience in the 60 years of living that when you kick down, kick the can down the road to the last minute, that things get hasty, that sometimes process others? Possible. Thank you. Sometimes process suffers when you don't do things the right way in time. I think I just heard you say that you believe the political process and the election laws and the primary process is important. Yes, sir. And that's something that, regardless of personalities, we should abide by. Yes, 